Professional Season 4, it's brought to you by Electronic Revolution. Check us out, World Wide Web, tri www.e-rev.tv, impound e-rev on the Game Surge Network. Live on 3 is being executed. I'm going to introduce your lead caster tonight. His name is Johnny Zadrogna. Johnny Volcom Zadrogna, to be exact there. No worries about that, but I have my a caster. I have shoutcasted for many other companies before. I just want to say I'm new to E-Rev and I'm going to have a lot of fun here on this first Sevo cast. It's going to be a great time. Yep, you'll be hearing more of Johnny in just a second. Live on 3 is being executed. Uh, for those of you guys that are following the Sevo scene, some of you that might not, the Last Resort, a fairly newer team. They were uh, a new team. They came in CGS uh, during the online qualifiers, won their uh, section, went to the CGS Combine, however, did not qualify to be drafted. For, well, they did qualify to be drafted in CGS. They just weren't drafted, but they're looking to make a good impression in Sevo Professional Season 4 this year. Also, Team Turmoil, a.k.a. Devastation, a.k.a. Flow. They've went through a whole bunch of turmoil this past month, but have started a new company in the last week in Tur Team Turmoil LLC. That's a quick overview for you guys. Remember, we play CGS rules in Sevo Professional. So, it's live on three right now. Good luck, have fun by both teams, and they are recording their demos. Take it away, Johnny, with the first round of Sevo Professional Season 4 on Electronic Revolution. Here we go. Going live right now. Round has just started. We have two teams right now. The last resort is on the counter terror side. We'll have the favorable side, well, which could actually be the terrorist. But they will start off on counter terror side, the 16K, as you said, for CGS rules. They will be buying AWPs and M4s, as turmoil will be also right now. We have shots going off in bombsite B right now. I hope you guys, if you guys get in the source TV, you can check it on e hyphen rev. Pound E hyphen rev and IMIRC. Shots being fired in lower A right now. Checks get dinked down to 37 right now. Ambush peeking in mid with an AWP flash is being thrown. Chewbacca sneaking down into bombsite A. Nobody's killed yet. Shots being exchanged. It takes out. Collision takes out Sasquatch. Just then for a one, it's now a four to five to four situation for TLR. But then Sauce takes out Collision with his AK-47. Now waiting right now in AWP, uh, Nicholson is looking back and you see the spawn peeking back lower A. Shots being fired. Nothing going on right now. Quick peeking up upper A. Flash right now. Trying to flash but then Nicholson taking down with AWP. Takes out quick and then Funshine takes down Ambush in middle with the AWP and also takes out Nicholson. What a phenomenal shot right there. Two on two situation. Soft flash. Taking the shots off in lower bomb side A. AK-47. 3 HP. But he gets taken down by Chewbacca. It's a one, one on two situation right now. Fun shine. He takes out Chewbacca. Will he clutch this right now? Hans with 46 HP. Going up right now. Shots being fired. Palm planted. He takes his off shot, but he misses. Is it? But Hot will get that round right there, and he, they, they did not get the bomb down in time anyway. So that was a great round there. One to zero in favor of TLR. Triple, what do you have to say about that round? Um, just seemed like TLR played their sights well. Uh, the beginning kill on Sasquatch was uh, a great thing. I believe uh, Haunt got that kill. Uh, definitely a great kill on Sasquatch and Cathedral. Just st set the tempo for the rest of the round and really just opened things up for TLR. I'm looking for big things from them. They're kind of been under the radar. They're kind of a fairly new team. They can make a big statement right now by taking out a very good term uh, team turmoil. Yes, Sasquatch taking out a collision with AK-47. Shots being fired in B. Guy in closet. Nothing going on now. Two hanging out in lower bombsite A in muck. Another guy walking sand. It is now a 5-on-4 situation in favor of turmoil. Shots being fired. Flashes being thrown. Nothing going on right now. Haunt with 37 HP is in plank room. Waiting for some guys pushing bombsite B. Sauce rotating middle with his AK-47. Bomb walking slowly in muck into bombsite. Uh, a Sasquatch with a nice AK shot right there. Takes out Chewbacca. Nicholson takes out with an AK-47. He is AWP. Takes out Quick also right there. 3 on 3 situation. Ambush coming back to bombsite A to help him out. Shot being taken. He takes out Funshine. He got a quick scope right there. He takes out Sauce. Funshine takes out Nicholson with his, with his nade right there. But then he takes out. Ambush takes out Cheeks. And now he's going to defuse it, or actually Haunt took that defuse right there. 2-0 to zero in favor of TLR. What happened that round? Um, it looked like it was going to be a good push from Turmoil. They were setting up nice. I believe, uh, yeah, two members were going through uh, upper bombsite A. They rushed in the site. TLR was just right there to converge on them. Uh, Nicholson with great, with a great off shot that round. Uh, 
I believe it was on uh, either Sasquatch or Sauce, but a great off shot nonetheless. Nonetheless, and uh, really opened things up for TLR that round. And they're definitely taking commanding lead with uh, the such short rounds with a 2-0 and o lead on this matchup. Yes, it looks like turmoil right now. It's going to do a little push down to water right now. Jumping, ambush jumps down, takes out Cheek with an AWP. Coming behind the other guy, going to bombsite B. Sasquatch looking, spraying. Will he get the guy? Shots going to take two guys there and lose the hole. But ambush, ambush takes out Sasquatch and AWP. The only three turmoil people remaining right now. Everybody's in sights together. Haunt on top of the roof right now. Spraying takes out Sauce. Where Funshine actually got collision. Only one turmoil person remaining now. Funshine takes out Haunt with an, AW, with an AK-47. Headshot. Nicholson peeking bomb site B. Hopefully to get fun shot right now. Bomb is down in bomb site B. Nothing's going on right now. People are rotating. Funshine is now in plank room with 94 HP. Maybe get one or two more kill, but then Nicholson peeks him and gets Funshine. AWP headshot. That wasn't too smart of a rush, I would have to say. Yeah, definitely wasn't the, the best idea by uh, Turmoil right there, and I'm Right now, I just have to comment on uh, TLR and how they're playing right now. Just very impressive, you know, basically handing, uh, you know, a silver platter they are uh, with Devastation's, well, Turmoil's name on. I'm going to be referring to Devastation here and there. i got to get used to the switch. But definitely uh, taking Devastation by surprise right here. They're a newer team, and it's looking real good for them right now. Uh, Bomb has been playing it in Beat Bombside, however. Johnny, why, why don't you give, them, give us the call? All right, now there's a five turmoil people remaining. Two members of T the <laughs> two members of TLR going on right now. Bomb planning in bombsite B, as said. Ambush in lower bombsite A. But Nicholson take out takes out Sasquatch and AWP. They're both in low, lower A right now. There's no way they're gonna make it to bombsite B in time for anything important. They may get a few exit kills here and there. Takes out quick right there. Nicholson, what a nice off shot, phenomenal off shot. Flashing outside lower A. Possibly get another peek, but then he then ambush takes out. Sauce. That was a nice peek right there. That's all they really could have done. They didn't have time to make it to the bomb or anything like that. It is three to one in favor of TLR. That was a first round by Termo right now, aka Devastation, as said. Well, let's hopefully they can uh, bring it back a little bit. Maybe get five rounds out of this or six rounds if they win out. But that was that was a great rush to bombsite B by Termo. Yeah, Turmoil got into the site fairly easy. They got the bomb planted, and, you know, if you can do that with CGS rules, it's kind of hard for the other team, although, you know, you know, you do have the high money amounts. It could be, you know, detrimental to your team if you do overbuy or if something goes wrong. As you can see right now, Turmoil picking up a whole bunch of kills. Sauce is going to get away, and I believe Bomb is going to go down and be bomb site again. Johnny, what do we got over there? Last guy in closet right now. The Bomb is down to bomb site. B flashes, and Nate's being thrown down. Bomb is planted as right now. 9 HP for a couple of turmoil people right now, looking down to lower, the guy's going to try to get a couple of um, exit kills right now, working into sight right now, flashing with AWP, oh what a try to get a peek right there, but Sasquatch is there with his AK-47 to return fire and get ambushed, that is another round for Team Turmoil. As said, that uh, Rush B is working quite well, I'd have to say, triple 20. Yeah, that rush definitely working well for him. Sasquatch, you know, picked up a great kill to end the round. I think, you know, we're learning, you know, more and more about the CGS. At least I am myself watching, you know, the actual championship gaming series on DirecTV and watching the VODs on the site. And now watching, you know, this match up here, it seems as if on CGS rules you get the bomb pointed. It really just messes with the other team as in, you know, the regular format. Sometimes it's easier to get into the site because you have a lot more time to work with. In CGS rules, you know, the time is cut short. So it's kind of you have to go two times faster than you would like to do on everything. I guess, you know, it's it's kind of a different thing, and as you can see, Turmoil getting the bomb plan, it's definitely taking TLR off, uh, off of their game plan, I think. Yeah, two amazing picks right there. Working um, up to bomb site A that time. These people are really getting peaks right now. Sauce missing an, um, an amazing off shot. Guy around CD spawn right now. Oh, but he gets Nicholson finally looking around. Five Turmoil members remaining versus two TLR members. This is going to be a hard clutch again. They're going to be pulling off, coming back from a probably most likely three-round winning streak. 79 spectators, and now Spray's being taken. Payne takes out Chewbacca and takes out Haunt for another round. Three to three, tied. Phenomenal. But anyways, what do you have to say about that, Triple Twenty? Uh, 
like, I don't know, Devastation, uh, well, Team Turmoil, sorry about that. Team Turmoil definitely looking good right now. TLR gained some quick rounds on them. I was really impressed on how they jumped out of the gate fast like, but I guess, you know, the moxie and uh, patience and experience of Team Turmoil, they are a very experienced team. Sasquatch has been playing, you know, forever, basically. Uh, definitely taking TLR to school on these past couple rounds, and it's looking good for them right now. And be so quick. What a nice pick right there. Sasquatch takes out Nicholson with a gate 47 2, gate 47 shots. Quick takes out to, to Baca and San right now in the bomb side A. Two TLR members remaining. They're going to be rotating from CD spawn right now. Haunt with just a Deagle right now. Saving it quick. He gets quick right now. He's going to be the only TLR rem member remaining right now. Nades being thrown to him. He's most likely not going to have luck. Spring takes out Sasquatch, but then Cheeks is there to take out Haunt for another one. 4 to 3 in favor of Turmoil. They're first on top in this match. Yeah, Turmoil takes the lead with that round, and, you know, I can't say it enough. This bomb's getting planted, and all of a sudden, it's just taking the last resort off guard. Turmoil is just getting the easy kills. They're playing the man advantage, playing the power play, and it's working for them right now. And they're up 4-3 to three with their first lead in this matchup. Indeed, indeed. Again, they're going to be going for the more non-passive brush right now. Chewbacca flash in lower A. Oh, Sasquatch sprays down Chewbacca lower A right now. They're going to be working to bomb side A. Bomb is sneakily walking up in muck. They do only have a minute and 30 seconds, as I recall, for CGS, which is a lot different than Cal, and they have to rush more than more than they would want to versus Cal. But also, Collision takes out Cheeks right there. It's 4-4. Four and four. What do you have to say about that, Triple 20? Do you prefer CGS, or...? Um, you know, I'm I'm for it, and then I'm against it. You know, I watched the championship gaming series when it was on DirecTV, and I was like, yeah, this is awesome. You know, I love how this is being played. It's so fast. I like it. But then, you know, when I play it myself, like if I do like a scrim or whatever, I really can't stand it. It seems like I'm rushed. Everything I do, you know, everything I do, I have to do like 30 seconds faster. I can't like wait out on people. I just kind of have to rush. And I really think, you know, it's detrimental to the game because it really takes the strategy and you know, gameplay out of Counter-Strike, which, which made it so different than other FPSs out there. I mean, the money's all of a sudden taken away, and now the time's really short, and so you don't have as uh, complex strats as you once did, and you don't have to worry about money. So it really changes the way Counter-Strike was really meant to play. So I'm just kind of back and forth on it, really. I don't have an opinion. Exactly what I have to say. You feel rushed and stuff, and now with the money thing, and you don't even have to buy ammo. I mean, there's really no, we don't really, there's really no money buying strategy right there. But first of all, that was another round for Turmor now. 5-3, last round, first half. Here we go. But also, um, another thing is that if you have 16K and you don't have to buy ammo anymore, there's really, you can buy an off and you'll basically, you'll really never have to save unless you continuously buy ridiculous stuff. Yeah, you know, CGS just seems like it's focused more on the individual player than as a team, and that's just one thing that really turned me off when I saw it. But, you know, when I'm actually watching the games live on DirecTV and stuff, I really enjoy it. So, you know, it goes back and forth with me. I, I really don't have an opinion on it. I mean, it's good for some things, and then it's bad for others. It's just mixed reviews on my part. Mm -hmm. Right now, Chewbacca takes out Sasquatch. Now, 4-on-4 four four situation for both teams. Sauce working in closet right now. In bomb slide B, he saw another guy peek out of other closet. Oh, boxer, I'm sorry, I'm calling it closet, I don't know why. Anyways, 4v4, Sauce is walking to bomb slide B, he sees the guy peeking around the corner, he sees, gets ambushed before you could see him him right, th him right there. 3 on 4 situation. Let's see if Turmoil can pull off this last round. They'll be coming back from a 3 to 0 losing streak. Oh, sorry about that. Funshine takes out Chewbacca. Two, two TL members remaining left. Hot is taken down by Cheeks. One, one member remaining left. CD spawn spraying with his USP takes out Sauce. Right now he's going to be working bombs like B. No chance right now versus three members. Peeking into plank room. 54 HP. Flash right now. And he gets taken down by Funshine. That's 6 to 3 in favor of Turmoil. First half. CGS. Professional, uh, SIBO professional, my bad. Yeah, that's going to wrap up the first half of 